hi guys welcome back to another episode of the international student series my name is natasha and you're watching tasha yorks so um if you've not watched my previous video for this series uh it was on how to secure scholarships abroad i would link that right here or right here so please do check that out and in today's video like i said in the previous video i'm going to be taking you guys on my laptop so that we can um see how to effectively search for programs and scholarships on schools um, websites so if you're interested in this kind of content please stay tuned okay guys so we're going to move on to we're going to move on to the laptop so let's go okay so we're going to start with um, a general search let's say you want to do MBA MBA in the US mm hmm so as you can see let's see um we have Pace University in New York <clears throat> that's the first thing that comes up so um let's click on that and see what the website looks like so pace university lubin school of business okay so you can see financial aid how how to apply attend an info session but let's go down and see what they have here okay so here you can see their concentrations uh accounting business business analytics let's go down and see if we can see more things about the school okay so let's go up and go to how to apply So this is where you would get your um, any information you need on the application process and if you have any uh, what's it called if you have any questions like I said in my previous video don't be shy to contact them that's why they have contacts us here don't be shy to email them so in my first day I had a job like this um, I was working with um, what are they called exchange students coming to our university and um i was the one replying um email inquiries right so if you are confused about anything on the website or you don't know where to find something on their website don't be shy to reach out to them just reach out to them i was i was doing that work and i i loved helping people out just sending them, them links to um the right pages you're supposed to look at so just contact them so um here we can see the application process and you can see there's a place for international students go through that as you can see they said international applicants international applicant applicants will need to submit to fill and whatever you know the, these are the requirements what makes you eligible all right so go through that as well again there's a contact there's contact information here so you can contact them when you're having difficulties so um let's go yeah let's go back let's go to tuition and fees okay so now that we know where to find the um application instructions and requirements let's go to financial aid and see if we would find any um available scholarships for this school i mean expanding your career pace university financial aid solution center financial aid financial aid
Okay, so it's here. At PACE, we offer our graduate students a variety of options to help finance their education, in addition to scholarships. Scholarships is, uh, what's it called? Is highlighted. So let's click on that and let's see what it gives us. Okay, so this is one way that you can find scholarship opportunities on a school's website. So here we have the list of scholarships available in this school it's about five of them okay so uh yeah so now let's narrow our search to a particular school maybe you want to come and study in my school university of toronto okay so let's go to university of toronto Whenever you go on a school's website and you see future students, just click on that because you're a future student. All, all the information you need might be there. So just go there. Let's go to future students. And then let's see what, what is here. So as you can see, there are a lot of information here, okay? your tuition financial aid admission are you an international applicant you're an international applicant so you can click on that as well to go uh to see if they have any information for you and let's see what else they have on here right so this is just information about the school we have three campuses actually one in mississauga one in um saint george and one in scarborough i'm on the i'm on the saint george campus so uh we want to do graduate programs right so let's go into graduate program mm -hmm. graduate program And then here you can see all the programs all the programs so now you have the name of the school now you want to search for which um, you want to search through their programs if they have uh, a program that you would want to pursue so these are all the programs here you choose which one you like and click on it and then you can look at um, the requirements of that program and see if you qualify to to apply so now let's look for how we can find so now let's look for how we can find uh, where the scholarships are and as you can see here awards and scholarship so awards and funding sorry so let's go there awards and funding so you can explore all awards available now and then these are the list okay the list of awards and scholarships that you can find okay so we're here what we are looking for is award opportunities for master's degrees okay so let's go to find more and see the entire list of scholarships available in this school so there they are all the scholarships available all of them all of them all of them see there are a lot there are a lot emergency loan gym bursary sponsorship fund There are lots and even here you can narrow it down to citizenship international okay and then narrow it down to masters that's all we're looking for you're an international master's student so these are the um, scholarships that you might be eligible to apply for and see 
there are a lot so go through them and see which one you can apply to which one applies to you and uh, check if you're eligible to apply and then move from there if you have any question reach out to them i would keep i would keep hammering on the fact that if you are confused just reach out to the school okay and they would answer you so don't be shy at all at all at all at all at all at all okay so we are moving down like we're, we are we are moving we are moving to a narrower a more narrow whichever one is correct a more narrow search so now you know the um we've done a general search we've done, we've done uh, a somewhat narrow search now at this stage you know which um you know which program you want to do and at which school okay so once again i'm going to use uh, my school um, and I'm going to use my faculty so let's go to um, my faculty is high school at U of T faculty of information yes here mm -hmm. and over here you can see the areas of study in this faculty there's museum studies bachelor of information undergrad if you want to do undergrad and there's a master of information there's phd in information i'm doing masters of information so let's go here so here you can see um the concentration of this program okay and for this program you can do concentration pathway where you would pick a specialization or a general pathway where, where you just do um all the courses in one and i am doing concentration pathway so like i told you guys in my previous video i did uh kmim knowledge management and information management in my first year i've done all the courses in this one so in my second year i am taking courses in archives and records management so there is that um yeah this is just an explanation of courses you are supposed to take in which of in any of the concentrations okay so you go through this when you are sure that you you like all the courses and you take a decision to apply for a general pathway or a concentration pathway okay yes and once again you can contact them at inquire.ischool at utoronto.ca if something is um boggling your mind or you're confused about something contact them they will give you the right uh places to look at okay and yes So again, for scholarship, when we come up here, you can see money matters. Okay, so let's click on money matters, and we are we are not even going to look at. Please look at tuition and fees, okay? But I'm not going to look at that because uh, we don't have money to pay. So we are just going to go straight to awards and scholarships. And here, you can see all these awards and the eligibility program. So these awards are for MI, that's Masters in Information. And this one is for Masters in Information and Medium, Museum Studies, sorry. Uh, this one is for Masters, Museum Studies and PhD. So these are all the scholarships in my faculty. Like I told you in the previous video, there is a school scholarship, there is faculty scholarship and there is government scholarship. So you have those three um choices to choose from so as you can see here where did i go to money matters in some other on some other um on some other websites it might be uh funding or awards financial support and aid so read all these things and then you can find which scholarship you um you can apply to and 
up, go ahead and apply okay i hope this video is not all over the place so i'm trying my best i'm trying my best okay so lastly let's just go to um a school in the uk so i've given you a school in uh in the us my school in the in canada and now we're going to a school in the us so if you guys saw lizzie in my previous video she said she she's from loughborough university so let's go to loughborough university is the university of the year okay these pop-ups are so annoying though anyway okay so let's go here let's see what do they have for us undergraduate open days coronavirus uh, volume da, 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 da. news and events it really takes patience to find the right information on school school websites okay all right so down here we can see undergraduates postgraduates research degrees whatever uh we are looking at postgraduate study so let's go there and let's see what is here so you can see how to apply other prospectus upcoming events it's not a problem right now how to apply you go here to see your eligibility and um, application instructions okay uh, fees and funding international students every time you see something about international students go read it okay so read on international students and let's see what else is down here okay no problem nothing else is there so let's go to fees and funding that's what that's what's important to us fees and funding we're looking for scholarships yes so the institution here there is how to pay please we don't have money we're looking for scholarships okay <laughs> and then you have a list of master's degree funding and scholarships so please go there and then down here you have the list of all the scholarships available all of them okay i think even um one of the scholarships lizzie spoke about is here the commonwealth let's see mm -hmm. so do you see that I, there's a lot i'm actually looking for the scholarships lizzie spoke about the commonwealth scholarship i thought i saw it <laughs> oh yes here it is yes do you remember lizzie speaking about this right so look at the list of scholarships available here and if you know a particular name like we know we like we had lizzie say about the commonwealth you can just find it here and it will pop up so you don't have to be going up and down looking for it so yeah that's it guys uh what v what topic do you think i would be talking about next week please put it in the comment section or Put in the comment section what topic you would like me to talk about next week okay if you found this video helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe turn on your post notifications to be notified anytime and every time i post a video and yeah guys i will see you guys in my next video bye